she comes out of the haze like a colossal apparition, towering above the waterline. Faust, a gigantic floating car lot. Big ticket vehicles only, please. She's supersized at 755 feet long and can hold up to 8,000 cars. That makes her one of the biggest vehicle carriers on the planet. Faust has to load a thousand luxury cars bound for North America. She'll take sports cars, heavy equipment, Jaguars, Rolls Royces, $65 million worth, all with perfect paint jobs. New owners expect a scratch-free delivery in just nine days. This freight is so fragile, it takes highly skilled stevedores to load. They've got to be as specialized as a pit crew and as fast. For Faust to cast off on schedule at midnight, the stevedores have to finish by 10, and it's already 2 p.m. The 31 drivers can't just park their rides all over the ship. Everything must be packed as tightly as sardines and as carefully as bone china. They're in a race with the ebbing tide, and Faust's efficient design helps. Vehicles can fill every inch of Faust's colossal hold, as big as 11 football fields. It's time to tighten the seat belts. The violent North Atlantic can toss these cars around like toys, so they're tightly braced, barely inches apart. This allows where the ship's rocking, even though they're rocking unison, there won't be any contact. Every vehicle is equally spaced. So even though we've got different sized vehicles, the actual distance between each vehicle is the same every time. There is one exception. The Rolls Royces, they require a one meter clearance all round the car. Cars worth half a million dollars each get first class accommodation. As the vehicles roll in, the evening rolls on. Drivers race to get the job done. But there's a delay on Faust's runway. It's backed up with heavy tractors and freights holding 90-ton generators. And if that weren't enough, the tide is rushing out. In two hours, Faust has to close her ramp or miss it. She's nowhere near fully loaded. Most of the stevedores will soon go off shift and they need every single one to get this ship loaded on time. You need to talk to the captain because I need more time for operation. Stefan Brismay the talks captain. to the shipping line's business agent. Because I don't know how much labor I will have after 10 o'clock. Captain Brome has two choices. Take longer to load with fewer stevedores and risk missing the tide or cast off with cars left in port. Faust is already two hours late leaving Southampton Harbor. The tide is going out and the ship must leave with it. Packed with vehicles, she's less than five feet from the bottom. If the water drops any lower, she'll be stuck in port. We need at least one hour for the search of the vessel also before we leave. So. Right. Yeah. So 1.30? Yeah, should be okay. Right. Decision made. There will be no car left behind. Captain Brome takes the chance with the ebbing tide and loading continues.